evening, I'm David Scott. Over the past few years, Austin's been a test market for electric cars and charging stations. But with Austin Energy raising electric rates, is using more electricity the smarter alternative to gasoline? Chris Sadi takes a look at how using electric cars could affect the energy grid for all of us. Run your card past the front of it. You may have seen these popping up around town lately. And then you plug it in your car. There's now 113 of them at restaurants, grocery stores, and parking garages. And even more are planned. But Tom Smith is one of the fewer than 1,000 people in Austin who can even make use of them right now. On a couple of occasions, I have gone entire months without ever using a drop of gasoline. And some think this could one day completely replace this. Central Texas is one of nine regions in the country where charge point stations were installed with government grants. Since then, 211 electric cars and 615 two-wheeled vehicles are on record in the Austin area. Austin Energy is in the business of selling the electricity that these cars use. This was a windfall, windfall for us to get these charging stations for free. But the idea of electricity one day getting all of us around town comes with a caveat. Imagine if there started being electric vehicles in every garage. What kind of impact that would have on our transformers? What happens when the summer heat hits, when air conditioners pop on, and ERCOT starts asking everyone to conserve? We want to study the impact that they will have someday on the electric grid. It's estimated that when these cars are left charging, they use the same amount of energy as a dryer left running. Only it takes a little longer than a load of laundry. And about three hours later, you have a full charge. Monthly usage at these stations has more than doubled since just December. Austin Energy expects those numbers to grow, and that's why finding a balance is critical to meet everyone's needs. For Tom Smith, it's about the bottom line. It takes about 10 kilowatt hours of electricity, or about a dollar. A lot better than three bucks a gallon, and enough to get him about 35 to 40 miles down the road before using gas or stopping to charge again. And he hopes one day he'll be able to do that in just about any parking lot around town. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Austin Energy's issued nearly $100,000 in rebates for 85 drivers who installed charge stations at their home. That's about $1,100 per driver. Now, to learn more about the program, including a map with the locations for all the charge stations, you can log on now to KXAN.com.